get over to here. We'll get off of that little thing there. Now let's just minimize that. So if we have a look in the DAISY folder on their structure, we're doing a sign. If we go into structures and we go into um, uh, signs, settlements. Now we notice that there is a bunch of signs uh, below to end, below to start, P3D. Da, da, da. Now this folder contains all of those like that. So we know there's a start and an end sign. And inside of here there's a bunch of ones which are your basic ones. So this is the the base of their signs. That's the base start. And then if we look at the base end it should have the cross line through it. So we all see no signs. Then each one of these has a particular wording which was an, on an alpha. means the grey is transparent. So it took a while to figure this out. How can you do up multiple signs for one model? Let's step back. First of all, I don't claim to be uh, a great Blender modeler. Uh, this is something that I just knocked up and it's based upon the Australian street signs which I'll give you a look at here so you can get an idea of exactly what we're referring to. So you can see this sign here. <laughs> These signs here, these are very typical uh, of what we have um, down where I live. So I wanted to create a sign along those lines for my map. So I created this, uh, which is really just a bunch of primitives. Um, this is just a plane, um, slightly uh, extruded with uh, slightly rounded corners. I think I could have rounded those corners better, but anyway, it's a learning curve. And two poles, which are just cylinders. And um, I kept the poly counts down pretty much on those. So all I did was once I've done that I exported this across so obviously you can export here under different models. I find this GLTF export will give you an option and choose the GL GLTF embedded. What it allows you to do is to export that into this format of, of model. The reason being is the next thing I had to learn how to use was Substance Painter. Well, with Substance Painter, when you create a file, it asks you for your model, which happened to be this bad boy right here that uh, we were just talking about. And believe it or not, I have never really textured before in my life, so this is a learning curve. I've tried to give it a metal with a rusty sort of finish, and I've only thrown this together just for demo purposes, really. And I just used the uh, layers here. I'm not going to explain how to use Substance Painter. It takes a while, and... I've only got 15 days left remaining till I actually do purchase the program, but I can honestly say what a great tool um, to give textures and finishes to things that you want. So, once I've done this, what I did is I went into the export textures, and there is actually a setting for day Z which is available, and I will put this in my download section which will give you these automatic outputs which is your image uh, and also or your normals and SM SMDI and your AS as well. So these are really just images that uh, are required to create both texture and 3D depth on your model. So that's what I did. I uh, hit the export button in textures and then I told it where to place it set it 2048. I could have reduced that again if I wanted to and exported the model. Just a quick note on this, um, once you get a drift of using this program it's quite powerful. I mean you can you can literally just paint s things on the surfaces that you didn't think you could paint. There's all kinds of filters and different kinds of brushes and particles um, and uh, you know whatever you want you know and it can actually paint. They're very very small but it will actually paint them onto the surface and give textures to things which look really cool once it's done. So it's just drawing out the texture because I did a pretty big one. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Um, and you won't be able to tell because it's a different color. But anyway, let's just get out of that. We won't save that. So having said that, now once that was done, all I did was I opened up my model inside of... Um, object builder and if we have a look at that model we can see 
that this model, remember we've gone through two processes, went through Blender, we exported it across to be able to get our textures nice and clean, and then all we've done really is just bring it straight back into uh, into Object Builder again, and should be able to see on there, see it's got a real sort of meaty sort of texture to it like I wanted, see that rust and that shiny steel look. So that was the idea I was looking at. So the question was, how can we now reproduce this model every single time? Well, what I worked out was, for every single model, there's obviously the sign, which will be just the framework. Then there's the word section. Now, the words is really all it is. It's just a plane, a flat plane. And with words, if we get it to highlight and we press E, we can see it literally points to the sign words. In this case, case AS exit sign. So if I go back into here and I get back into my signs folder and we look at the data and it's looking for this PAA and there it is right there. So we can see Arthur uh, Sitramana. Now I can repeat this for multiple signs now. So if I want to create another sign, all I have to do is simply create another one of these, which is your alpha transparency, and then I just open up this, go to words, hit E, tell it to change, and then all I do is I look for the file, if I want to change it to that one, and click apply, click OK, and now if we open up in full screen, I should now have another sign with different wordings. So this is what I've worked out to recap in order to get your model to have various signs, but only have to build one. All you need to do is create a 3D model, texture it, optional, but you can see there's a, a definitely a difference to texturing. It makes things look a lot nicer. Um, and then you simply just change your wording one. Now we've still got to create geometry in here, and I can actually do that inside of Blender because in Blender, if you do choose an object, like for example that, and then you create an object like such, you can see it's already created a lot, right? So I can create multiple ones if I wanted to, um, and I can create my uh, fire geometry, um, memories, land contact, pass highway, all this. More of a complex uh, subject, but if you just really want to get a sign going, there's a simple way to do it, to pull a sign out like that. And now in your folder, all you're going to have is your um, P3D files, your config, and your config is simply just going to list uh, what particular signs it's looking for. So when you compact this, it's going to be able to find this as one add-on with all of your signs in it. And if we go into the data, there's just two. I run two RV mats, one for the sign, one for the poles. And this, if you're not familiar with this, and this has been a learning curve for me as well, this gives it the texture shine and everything else. A little tip, all you need to do if you're not sure how to create a good one, go into your DZ folder, look under a subject that you're trying to build. So in this case, it was signs and settlements. And we want to look in here in data. And if we scroll right down, we can see what they've used as their basis for creating a sign. And we know that's pretty much a sign as a sign. That's pretty much the textures we want. And you can go ahead and repeat this with, it doesn't really matter what it is. If it's a wooden sign, then go in there and look for the wooden sign one, and it'll give you its ones. I just copy this folder across and um, paste it back in. So there we go, guys and girls. I just thought I would give that a little rundown for you. I don't know if this is helpful to anyone. Sometimes you learn more as you teach too. But um, So there's the process. It's a very simple video, as I said, how to create a, um, a sign, but you may want to create multiple signs. This is just one process that I kind of figured out that BI were using this method and just placing a extra plane of transparency on the model in order to get it.
there we go I hope this was helpful um, guys do us a favor I do these videos just because I like sharing information that may help other people and I'm sure you guys appreciate it uh, if I've done anything wrong or anything you thought could be done better please uh, put it in the messages if you loved it please say yes and give me a thumbs up and um, share and also join the discord because that's where I'm going to be posting all of these files including um, I will post some of my assets as well so if you want to download and play with them I'll have the blender files and everything there for you guys all right until next time um, this is grandpa wishing you a great day Z see you all soon bye for now